Hi, I'm uh, Sasha Ivanov. I'm Waves Platform CEO and founder. Uh, I'm in Bitcoin since probably 2013 and uh, we've done an ICO almost two years ago before the hype. We raised like, it was the second biggest ICO at the moment after Ethereum. We raised 30,000 Bitcoin and now we have market capitalization of 600 million dollars. So what we are, we are a blockchain platform where you can do many things. You can issue tokens, you can do ICOs. Also, we have very cheap transactions. Very soon, in the middle of December, we'll have a major update and we will have up to 100 transactions per second on our blockchain. So it's going to become the fastest blockchain in the world. Yeah, we want to have uh, a platform that can be used by real business right here, right now. So it's not so futuristic. We are focusing on like real use cases. So you need to have cheap transactions. You have to you have to have scalability, and you have to have like normal user experience. So you need to have good interfaces. We want to have web client interfaces similar to online banks, so people don't have to learn anything new. So the learning curve is not steep, so you just use this technology without understanding how it works. This is our goal, to make blockchain te technology accessible to normal people. Probably at this stage it's not so bad if government regulates it, because when you invest in ICO, you invest essentially in startups, and most of the startups fail, as everybody knows. So probably we need some regulation to protect people from investing in bad things. So I don't know if it should be government regulation or maybe some kind of self-regulation, but there should be some regulation. Otherwise, ICO market can really can really crash, I think, because you need to have some some uh, some mechanism that protects people from bad investments. There can be some kind of, you know, decentralized mechanism where you can vote for the projects. There can be some kind of decentralized rating agency, in which case uh, people just, just, just evaluate the project, vote for it, and you have some kind of rating for the project, and people can see that this project is uh, is like is, is is vetted by the community and they invest in it so it can be some kind of decentralized solution and the governments don't know what to do so you need to propose some kind of guidelines for them which they can use later when the regulation will be in place i think it won't be any different from any other country you know all countries have their own path towards regulation but the end will be the same so it will be regulated as all, as everywhere so uh, probably russia has its own way there can be some kind of crypto ruble project that can connect to, like uh, russian crypto which works uh, according to russian laws to like international crypto that's possible but i think within half a year we'll have some kind of regulation in russia Probably next year will be the year of tokenization of real businesses when you have some kind of commodity of some kind of asset and you issue tokens backed by that commodity. So it can be used for many businesses, for manufacturing, for loyalty programs for example, because a loyalty thing probably is the next big thing in, in blockchain. Because for example you can do loyalty programs on waves, you can have you can send many transactions and the loyalty programs need this. So it's quite easy to do a loyalty program on blockchain now. Also voting, some kind of voting, it's, it's not for business probably, it's for like government services, but the next big thing in the blockchain space is voting systems, in my opinion. So we'll have two major use cases, new use cases in upcoming years. It's going to be tokenization of real assets and voting, when you can really vote in a transparent uh, way for, you know, on, maybe on like municipal level, on regional level, and it will escalate to state level maybe in a couple decades.